Hey guys, hey everyone, Kim's Tectonic here. Um, this is the inside of my shroud that uh, I noticed was dripping water probably all winter and before that. And I removed it, it's two screws, is all that holds this air conditioning shroud on. And the whole inside is soaked got ice froze of course, of course the camper's winterized but when it started warming up here I noticed it was dripping so with that being said I started investigating to figure out what's leaking because the air conditioner isn't running so with further investigation So I started looking at this, and it's all wet around the top of this, all wet. Even had some water in my outlet here. You can still see it's dripping all around here. Um, from what I understand, there's a, the roofing is rolled over, and then this thing is mounted. And what happens is, is this part pulls up, this part here it will pull up, and it squeezes it together. Now, maybe the caulking around the top is gone once I get this bottom shroud off, which isn't a big issue other than the bolts. And so I'm going to go and do that, and then we'll be investigating it from there to see what's going on so here's what it looks like once you get the shroud down I had this plate here that goes there and that basically ties your duct work in here's your return and here's your supply return and supply so it's all ready to be lifted lifted off now I I'm thinking that it should have had a I don't know what this stuff is here it's kind of a soft cushiony stuff but it's leaking I I believe I think underneath I that stuff so an idea I don't know if it should have butyl tape all the way around there but yeah it's leaking pretty bad in this front or this back part more these corners and of course when i try to raise this unit up which it will come up but i think there's too much water on the roof right now to to mess with it i need to let the roof dry a little better and then we'll pull the whole unit off and then go from there so so i've pulled the unit which is these four bolts here from the inside i left these i left these two in here to help me guide it into position to put it uh back in on the roof so the new gasket consists of this one down here, this short one here, which I don't understand why it didn't go the full way, but this is the main main one here that goes around the air conditioner. Now it says they're universal. So it's a little smaller than the original. Because you can see where the original came out to here. But basically you're just sealing water from coming in this hole. So so that's what that looks like pulled out. And I put some roof sealer. The same as the stuff going on the other roof there. It's called roof coat rubber roof coating so 
So I've put some stuff down on that, kind of waiting for it to dry. And we'll put this back down. And what it is, it's a compression. So when you tighten it up from the inside, it kind of compresses the gasket. So hopefully we don't have no issues. So I've tightened these four bolts down. Now this is the inside. You kind of got to line it up to where it was before. And when you hit these four, four bolts, and you got to, I'll have to put this duct work back together. But as you can see, the seal, it, it compresses the gasket. It says not to use caulk, but after it's already compressed, I put a little bit around the corners and shit. So hopefully this will solve my problem. Because all that holds this in, you just plug that harness back in that I took out. This wire here just runs across the top. And over here, never had to undo any of that. That just dangled. So now I got to work on putting this, hooking this duck back up. So now we just need to put this back together, which is a which means. Putting this ductwork back in here in place. Get the ductwork all nice and around here. Get the ductwork on. On. Like so. Okay, dock works in place. Pop them screws in. Gonna go right here. Okay, ductwork's intact. A couple of electrical plates. Remember which one goes where. Those are on. Put the shroud back on.
might prove to be a little difficult. Don't want to over tighten them. Crack the damn shroud. One last thing. A couple knobs. Look at both the same. That's a temp. This one's off. This one off. This one, the knobs. And there you go. Hopefully that will stop the leak. I still got four more bolts on top that holds the top shroud on. And I'll probably put a little RTV sealant on them four because it shouldn't have to come off very often, maybe for cleaning. That completes the inside. So all four of those are tight. You just gotta remove your shroud. I don't trust these from leaking. I know there's probably something in there, but it's pretty easy to clean this stuff off afterwards, so. Just to be on the safe side. I'm putting a little caulk on them. To seal them. So there you go. So there you go, everybody. That's the finish. It's supposed to rain tonight. We'll find out if it leaks or not. Hopefully not. I never covered the camper this year. So with winter and all, the snow was up around it. So it leaked kind of bad. Never realized it was that big an issue. But now with a new gasket, it should be all set. So... Hey everybody, I hope that helped. Um, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And I hope this helps you guys a lot. Or anybody that's going through the same issue. I thought it was going to be a little intimidating at first. But there was really not a whole lot to it once you get into it. It's not that hard to disassemble and unwire the air conditioner from inside. And just tilt it back on the coil side. Maybe wait a little while before you start it up. I won't be running it today because it's not necessary, but just so that the oils run back down in. The best way to do it is to tilt it towards the coil. Because if you tilt it the other way, it might run into the into the system. But the way I tilted it, it's not gonna the oil can't go far. So so like, subscribe again, and I'll be back.